what do we know about New Era Detroit, Priya? Brothers and sisters! No Brothers and sisters! I don't know what this world is coming to! The black man and woman have arrived again! We got a man to fuck up! They ain't talking about great for Detroit! They talking about great for fucking friends! So we want to give him a real Detroit. Get the fuck out of us. Ain't nobody else losing babies the way black people are losing babies. Nobody. It's time for us to get our together. Realistically, is when a thought becomes action. Where Detroit is when a sense of just wanting to do something becomes a reality. Where Detroit is when boots on the ground become a lifestyle. We talking about really making change within our community. We talking about really seeing a better tomorrow we talking about really being uh proactive we talking about really giving a damn about the youth and caring about the next generation you need organizations like new Era detroit out here in the community being active uh, in terms of putting together a place for the, for the community and it's just from an organizational standpoint when you look at everything going on in the country you look at the oppression that we still suffer as black people we look at the economic hardship that uh, we still suffer as black people. Uh, we don't value or have the understanding of valuing our communities. We don't value or have the understanding of valuing our dollar. In Detroit at the time, in 2014, there was a high amount of, of, of rape and abductions in terms of young women and little girls. And um, it was a serial rapist going on. And I remember saying to myself, like, Seeing this on the news and day after day as another woman being raped, as somebody else coming up missing, as something else happening to uh, our youth and just to be around the masses of people and people just sit around like that's just okay and nobody giving a fuck enough to do something about it other than just seeing it on the news and saying that, wow, this is messed up. You know, that's that was kind of the driving force of the organization. So starting that, it was just a thought to do something. And what we got out of that is a, a growing empire of an organization and a blueprint for organization throughout the country. Uh, we started in 2014, uh, August 17th to be exact, Marcus Garvey Day, just knowing what he done for our people, the um, blueprint that he set up for unified, liberated group of people. Um, I, it even just made everything that much, much more special. Uh, when we first started, uh, we started actually as a, a, a all men's group and that literally lasted um, two days or something like that before uh, women started to inquire about doing stuff in the community. So we just scratched that. Um, we had the mindset and mentality of, okay, we just gonna do this thing and, and make it inclusive for um, black men and women just because the understanding that women are the backbone of the organization. Women um, are always going to be the first ones who make sacrifice for the youth and for the children. Um, so uh, with that being said, they're the most vital part of organizing. Um, and having that understanding early on helped us. Uh, our first program as an organization, the Hood to Hood program, really uh, saved the organization. I always say that it was literally our first program and it was one of those things you put together. Um, it was really magical because, hey, look, we are starting an organization. We don't have any money. Um, we have uh, just only a handful of people involved in the organization. What can we do to grow the organization? What can we do to get people to want to be a part of the organization? And boom, the Hood to Hood program emerged. Uh, the Hood to Hood program is uh, what I like to consider one of the um, 
best community engagement programs in the country. Um, and I say that because of uh, the structure of the Hood to Hood program. Um, here we have a program that is uh, roughly anywhere from 16 to 18 weeks every single year, every single Saturday. We go throughout the community, uh, different communities uh, throughout the entire city of Detroit. And every single week we knocking on doors, passing our resources, touching the people, hearing from the people, seeing what the people want. Um, that is why this program is so outstanding to me. It's like the very first thing we did was figure out what did the people want and how could we help out with the needs of the people. And that is something that is always skipped by organizations, corporations, companies, anybody who's doing something for a community. Most of these people, they make plans and they don't involve the people. So from the start, you have a smudgy type of a, of a, of an understanding or a relationship with the actual community because you really don't know what the community wants. And for us to start off as an organization, going out to the community and hearing from the people and figuring out what they really want uh, was really big for us and it really helped us pick pick up a lot of momentum. to the collective box so we take money this money comes out of our own pockets this, this money comes from people who who do support us and with that we've been able to feed uh tens of thousands of people the reason that we named it the tennis ride program we actually had a very prominent very strong uh member of our organization very strong black sister um by the name of tangela harris and anybody who know tangela she was just like a jewel to the movement because she was a sister with so much passion uh, about her people and about her community. Um, that's just one thing that I, I can just never forget was how uh, passionate she was and you know her energy. Like some people say that they want to get out here and put in put their boots on the ground and you know and for our people and that's what they say. But then some people get out here and you can feel it. When they walk by you, you can feel it off they, they hug, you can feel it off a handshake, you can feel it off their energy, and that's the type of sister that Tangela Harris was. Unfortunately, she passed away uh, in 2015 um, due to uh, uh, asthma attack, and she had the idea of us getting on the bus and, and building and engaging with the people, just as we do with our Hood to Hood program. So when she passed, we took that idea and at the time we were looking for a way to feed people um, and we said let's just take that and flip it and prepare food, hit the bus, build with our people on the bus and feed them at the same time and voila you have a tennis ride program that's in its uh, third complete year of operation. All the women that's, that, that done got abducted, all the women that's coming up missing, you know what I mean? We can't as men allow ourselves to be in a community that's allowing women and kids to get snatched up. That shit just not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen in Detroit. That shit is not happening. People are not just gonna come in our communities and think that they can do whatever the fuck they wanna do in our communities. We gotta make sure as men, as y'all young men, y'all got to understand that y'all gonna have to inherit these communities. Y'all gonna have to inherit these streets. Y'all gonna have to inherit these problems. Feel me? All this shit is gonna be on y'all, dog. So y'all just taking a step that a lot of these grown-ass men 
can't even step up and do. You got grown ass Negroes right now worried about playing a fucking lottery, worried about what game about to come on, worried about some broad, worried about some bullshit, and we got women coming up missing. That shit not gonna fly in Detroit. We gonna set a fucking bar, we gonna set a standard, we gonna let the country know that men in Detroit, men with inside New Era Detroit, is not gonna stand for or allow anybody to come in our communities and fuck over our people, fuck over our women, and for damn sure fuck over our kids. So we gotta make sure that we have that understanding of why we out here. Are we all clear? Let's get it, let's get it. It's on us to be able to make sure that we are creating a safe environment where our kids live. Um, if we're not putting any effort into that, uh, what are we doing really? So what the Streets is Watching program is, uh, is really a program that embodies that. You know, we walk kids to and from school, so our, our main priority is kids. Kids first. The safety of kids is absolutely imperative. Uh, so we had shifts to where we walk kids to and from school. Um, you know, to school in the morning, being there after school when they get out after school. Um, then we have a late uh, night patrol to where uh, we patrol the communities for single mothers who come at home and may need an extra eye for uh, the elderly may be taking a trash outside at night and may need an extra eye. A grandmother who is stopping by a gas station or something and like to see people roll by. Um, it makes the community feel safe and it, it makes them feel better because it's not the police. Um, it's people from the community that look like them, that they can identify with, that don't have an ulterior motive. Um, you know, that they feel safe and they feel comfortable. Um, and it's, it's almost a prideful feeling. People feel a sense of pride really seeing us go through communities and uh, protecting and policing our own community. So that's what the Streets is Watching program is. Just a regular state of living. My name is 
Mickey Ellis. I'm the owner and, um, well, uh, how can I say, I, I'm a distributor in Detroit. Z came on Monday and he tasted it. He was like, this is something I've never had before. And he said, how about if I come down here and, and bring the cash mod? And I said, sure. And I asked him what it was because I did not know. You know, and we did, you know, and we looked you guys up on the internet. So, hey, all the information is definitely on the internet. And they are what they said. They are a cash mob. They came out here and supported me tremendously. I mean, it was just like the bomb. It's like it started my season. Now I can go buy some flavors. Oh, yes. <laughs> I can buy some flavors and everything. So I'm excited. I thank you guys a lot. Thank you all. Thank you for coming out here and supporting me. I really appreciate it. That's what's up. It's about, you know, supporting black businesses. Cause that's what we, we have a program called the uh, Buy Black Tour to where we support different black businesses. We go to different black businesses throughout the city of Detroit and, um, you know, in some cities, uh, some outskirts cities in Detroit. And we support the business. We really put out a call for the community to really flood a, a certain business with black dollars on a certain day and the community comes out and supports this business showing uh, how powerful the black dollar is how how powerful it is for our people to actually say look we're gonna take our money and we're gonna keep it inside of our community we live in a time where uh, we spend uh, 1.3 trillion dollars to uh, just about everybody else except for our own uh, people in our own businesses and in our own communities. in the streets. I like to call it church in the streets. Church in the streets. We out here building on a Friday night. It's dark outside. We right here, right across the street from the liquor store. Right next to the Coney Island. Right in the middle of the heart of the hood. Let's get it. Me love. Wishing me love. 
protect, Satan in me. I always gave genuine love, no hating in me. I just came from a bad place. It seemed like the good guys spent his last place. I ain't gonna lie, I was moving at a bad pace. Realized life a marathon, not a race. Still gotta provide, gotta grind each and every way. Niggas out here dying, literally every day. So I keep the Glock so they won't pop my top. These young niggas that make your body drop, bottle watch. Shout out to my city, we so gifted, so gifted. But don't get it twisted, these niggas wicked. Niggas wicked. We got love for our people. I've never seen somebody that has more love for the people that can match that <clears throat> than this brother that I'm bringing up right now that has been sacrificing for the last three years since 2014, starting this organization, New Era Detroit, founding this organization, growing this organization on a national scale to four other cities throughout the United States and looking to grow it even further out. But dedicating 24-7, seven, seven days a week, my brother, my comrade, Zeke. Hey. Hey. Only God can judge me. Is that right? Only God. Nobody else. Nobody else. All you other motherfuckers get out of my business. Ready? All power to the people. All power to the people. All power to the people. I'm meeting the streets. Um, this is roughly a six week uh, to eight week program that we do right after the hood to hood to where we just completely just meet in the streets. The, the name is exactly what it is. Uh, we get together and, um, you know, we have uh, a beautiful mobile setup with a stage and um, mics and DJs and we go to the hood and, um, you know, we give game just like Malcolm did it on the corners. Harlem and when he came uh, to Detroit and traveled across the nation and um, you know when you talk about delivering a message and you want to get certain things across to our people uh, you want to make sure that you do it in a way to where people uh, will remember the last uh, and it has a lasting impact on the people so that's just what the meeting the street is we get together and we we really build it's a, it's a, it's a heart to heart it's not for the faint um, if, if, if you can't handle the heat, you definitely need to get out the kitchen because we come with that raw reality uh, in terms of our uh, meet the street program. It's, it's very raw, it's very uh, close, it's very personal, uh, it's very intense. That's the goal. Let's go out here and let's build, you know what I'm saying? Let's get our brothers and sisters galvanized in the same act that we, are, that we already out here put together. So that's what it's all about, man, setting the blueprint for the people by example, of getting out here and not just talking about this shit, but actually doing it, man. All power to the people. All power to the people. I love black people. I love black people. I love black people. All power to the 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 people. Affect our change, man. We gotta be the change that we want, man. New Era Nation is alive and well. You know, we're moving up three years. We are strong. This is our octave time in Atlanta, man. We're gonna keep it on the hood. We're gonna keep it in the community. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep developing. We're gonna keep going hard. We don't give a fuck. We don't believe it. We got a nation of people that believe it. We got a nation of people that's gonna change this motherfucker. All power to the motherfucker. United race. United race. Everything that we've been able to create here in Detroit, uh, the greatest part of our organization and really what makes New Era New Era is the fact that um, we just didn't settle for uh, organizing in the city of Detroit. We just didn't settle for just saying that our communities here in Michigan, uh, here in Detroit, uh, was going to be the end all be all. We decided. Uh, to take the show on the road and the best part of our organization is the family that we've been able to create nationwide uh, while we are gaining so much real true success within our communities is because um, we're stretching our legs when we talk about our communities we're not putting the lid on um, what we consider to be our communities because you find out when you start to travel across the country that 
every city is dealing with pretty much the same issues. Every black city is dealing with the same issues. Every black city is dealing with gentrification. Every black city is dealing with a, a failing school system. Every black city in America is dealing with poverty. Every black city in America is dealing with uh, dis, uh, uh, ununified people. Every black city in America is dealing with the same exact issues. So why not tackle uh, the beast how it's supposed to be tackled? And, um, that's just being able to hit it from uh, every angle that uh, it's hitting us from. And so we've been able to build relationships with uh, great people uh, throughout the country and form uh, a family. Um, and, you know, it's New Era Nation. That's the family we've been able to, to form with all of our chapters. Um, and this is just the beginning. Our goal is to be in every black community throughout America um, and just building, you know, simply building. We're not doing nothing else but focusing on the burning house on the block, which is um, the black community is the burning house on the block. Uh, we're doing, uh, you know, this year and in the future. Um, we, we have our news magazine to where uh, we, we launched and we brought that out. Um, in 2016, us being able to have our own literature, have our own uh, form uh, of print going out into the community, that's very important to us. That's something that we're looking to focus on, not only in Detroit, but in all of our chapters as well. Being able to build key relationships throughout the communities and better understanding our environments, better understanding different uh, communities um, and understanding that how much we're alike and utilizing different resources in different cities. You know, that's what the New Era Nation Network is and us being able to have a network, a family that we're able to depend on and rely on and understand they have the same mindset and structure. That means everything to organization. Ain't cold, ain't tired, how about you? 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 A round of applause. I just want to start off by saying, man, I have never been around a more dedicated, uh, a greater group of people and a greater group of individuals than y'all out here tonight. This was just, it don't matter, it, it, it rained. You know what I mean? The energy was here though. Cause we was here. We was here. What we do? It's not even raining right now. Soon as we wrap up the rain stop. We had the ancestors with us in the air. Y'all know what that mean? Y'all know what that mean? We had the ancestors with us. They was testing us today. See if y'all motherfuckers serious. Exactly, exactly. They was testing us today. Cause they got all these motherfuckers out here Pimping the people. Exactly. That's right. Pimping the fucking culture. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Not putting in that work. Mm -hmm. Our ancestors was testing us today yeah, to make sure that we came out here with the heart of hearts. That's right. Make sure we came out here for real about this shit. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody getting on the road and traveling all this way to not be serious about this shit. Exactly. Y'all right. serious. Damn Y'all dedicated. Damn Therefore, y'all got to make change. Y'all right. got to make change. Y'all got to understand that. 
Yeah, Let's get right. them right fist up in the air. Okay. Let's get them right fist up in the air. Yeah, Let's right. hit for some leadership, goddammit. Yeah, yeah. Let's hit for some leadership. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. continue the mission and uh, make sure that we are moving off righteousness and building and growing and staying focused on liberating the minds of our people and staying focused on the liberation of us um, as a community. Uh, I think that we're going to see some great days ahead of us. Um, we will see an impact. We will see a change within our communities. We will see the next generation. Uh, black babies grow up and not only uh, see black excellence as a hashtag but be able to live uh, in black excellence as a reality. This is what I feel that a uh, new era nation is going to bring to uh, a whole nation and a whole world uh, of black people and um, we're just looking for motivated and dedicated people and like-minded people. Uh, to be a part of the process. This is uh, history in the making. Um, we are writing our own history. Uh, we have the pen um, and the streets and the community is our notebook. So, you know, what we do here today uh, will be the deciding factor for what we see uh, as a, a people um, in the next 20 years, in the next 40 years. In the next 60 to 100 years um, is all riding on what we do today. And that's why uh, Two Air Nation is so important uh, to the growth and development of black people. We don't plan on going anywhere. We plan on making sure that we, we keep focused. We plan on making sure that um, we remain diligent and plan to make sure that we do see a greater tomorrow by any means necessary. One man, one woman, one child, one community at a time. All power to the people.